Good morning and welcome to your weekend healthy chat. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Sarah, and today we have another great show lined up for you. Here with us as our guests, we have Pauline Allen and Richard McIntosh, who are instructors for the Tri-State Dog Obedience Club. Good morning, guys, and welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Sarah. Good. I'm very excited to have you here. I know we're going to talk about Take the Lead, Your Dog, Your Health. So really talking about the health benefits of owning a dog. So let's get started. So tell me a little bit about yourselves and how you became involved in this type of work. Well, for myself, um, I started back in the early 90s. I was actually given a gift of a little Yorkie. Hmm. And um, I decided that um, I wanted to do something with her. I moved and I was by myself in a new town, no right. no friends. And Aww. so I started dog obedience and yeah. I took classes and I was hooked from yeah. day one. <laughs> <laughs> you loved it. Yes, I did. That's how I got started. And for you, Mac? I've been involved with uh, dog obedience probably since 1977, uh, but just prior to that, I know my wife was involved with dogs before I was, as mm-hmm. far as uh, any kind of training, and uh, something that I still pay the price for. I remember <laughs> saying to her, uh, I didn't know what a dog was till I met my wife. <laughs> I still pay that price. <laughs> yes. uh, and uh, dog obedience, and that has gone... Um, on and on there's so many things that we can do with our dogs and we do we do get hooked with it because it is so helpful for me right. uh, to to be around my dogs and other dogs I um, so that's how I got started. I'm still st- I'm still doing it after all these years. <laughs> you still love it. I still love it. Well, that's great to hear. Now, are there greater health benefits to owning a dog than to those who don't? I can uh, I could jump into that a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. The the I mean, people can choose whether they'd like to have dogs or not, and mm-hmm. of course that's their choice. And for those that, that do or are thinking about owning dogs, some of the things that as far as health benefits are concerned, you have a dog, you have to take your dog out. You're getting more exercise right there. Right, You've right. You've got to take care of your dog, so you, you learn the animal husbandry. Mm-hmm. You What you put in, you get back. 10 times from your dog just the fact of petting your dog right just just using your hands and just putting your hand on their back and the dog's reaction to that uh, i just uh, coming home from work you could have the worst day in the world mm-hmm. and you come home and that dog is there for you 100 uh, percent. to me i mean that just calms me right down right as far as health is concerned it makes absolutely the, uh there the exercises that you would choose to do with your dog i mean i would always say for someone that they should do some training to have uh, with their dog so the mm-hmm. just the fact of training right their right. dog and then at home doing your homework and working with your mm-hmm. dog there's that bond that you that you pick up with your dog your dog all of a sudden is paying a lot of attention to you mm-hmm. and you get that benefit your your family gets that benefit of having a dog that's that's behaving a little better right all dogs will try to be in the pack they'll all try to be the boss <laughs> they'll try to be alpha and the trick yeah. is is that you know w- by by gentle reinforcement mm-hmm. uh you become the alpha dog um so the the benefits the benefits to some of those things, I, I can tell you just just this weekend at at a, at, a, at a trial, uh-huh. the average age for people that are doing agility, which is rather uh, strenuous. I mean, you're running. What's you're agility? Doing, agility is where the dogs. It's like an obstacle course oh, okay. where the dogs go over jumps through tunnels over the mm-hmm. A-frame, that and uh, and things like that. Well. I had I had a gal that was had to be I never ask age but I she had to be 80 <laughs> 85 right, years right. old out there running with her dog does that do me good there's hope Absolutely. for me there's hope for all of us <laughs> we had we had youngsters yeah. so just just any of the sports that are out there that you could avail yourselves of are are, are health benefits, I Absolutely. believe. For Even just doing a brisk 10 to 15 minute walk. With Absolutely. The dog. Mm-hmm. Get, getting out of the couch right. and going out and, and taking care of your dog who takes care of you every day. What is a therapy dog and how does it benefit the community? Well, the therapy dog, I'll answer for you since I do a lot of that right now. Um, I'm also a uh, Therapy Dog International Evaluator. Um, so what does that mean? Uh, what it means is I take people. We have uh, try uh, not trials. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a test, like, mm-hmm. and the dog has to be able to pass these 14 different things, uh, mm-hmm. such as 
One is just basically going up and shaking hands with someone and your okay. dog is at your side. And it, it uh, goes along with the AKC, has a Canine Good Citizen program. And there's like about eight or nine of the same things that are done in both programs. And then therapy breaks off a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And um, we have to teach our dog to um, leave food uh, on a command. So um, I don't even know if I could teach my four-year-old now. <laughs> <laughs> because when you're, if you're going into a hospital or a nursing home, uh, yeah. a lot of times there's a tray and Treats food. Treats food, yes. Right, a whole tray of food there. And I have a little dog, so my little dog gets up and sits on the bed with a lot of these people. Mm -hmm. So I have to be able to turn around. She smells that food. I have to tell her to leave it yeah. so she doesn't go near the tray. So that's part of the training. Um, they do have to, Mac was saying, you know, learn a little bit of basic obedience. They have to be able to walk without pulling on a leash. Okay. Um, they have to walk at your side. They don't have to be in exact heel position like obedience, but they do have to have control of their dog. Um, these dogs are all tested uh, in order to pass and get eva we evaluate them mm -hmm. and then we send in um, papers to the organization to let them know whether the dog passed or not and you know if they didn't pass we talk to the handlers and tell them where they need work with their dog and then they can retest yes they can anybody can retest yeah oh, and uh, they have to be a year old or or older before they come and get tested, though. So. And once they become tested and certified, what are the type of places that they can go to where their therapy would be best needed? Well, there are many places. Um, hospitals are one. Um, nursing homes. Nursing homes are one of the biggest places that um, uh, bring so much joy to the patients that are there because, you, as you know, they can't have a dog or right. a cat or anything in a nursing home. Right, and so and many of them, I'm sure, probably feel very isolated. Exactly, and, and when they see the dog, I mean, their eyes just light up. There are people oh. that... Um, and how rewarding that must be for you guys just oh, it to is. see that. It is. Yeah. It's very... And you'll see, it, you, you know, some of these people don't speak anymore. Um, mm. You know, they have Alzheimer's or right. something. Right, right. And, uh, or I have in... I also go to schools. I have a little girl... I just found out that uh, she's been uh, in foster home after foster mm -hmm. home, and she's going to be adopted. She's going to be told, I think, on Christmas. Oh. And um, But in class, she doesn't speak. She'll right. answer a question, but she never has a question. Mm. And the first day I came into the classroom, um, I had four children at a time meet McNug uh, McNugget, I'm saying my old dog, Twiggy, <laughs> <laughs> um, meet Twiggy, and the questions came out of her mouth like you wouldn't believe. I didn't know anything different. Right. But later right. the teacher informed me that this child does not ask questions. So hmm. she was very impressed that the dog brought this out of her. Right. Absolutely. And what other places do the pets go to? Um, we go to rehab centers. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few of my friends who belong to Angels on a Leash and they go into the city to uh, Ronald McDonald House and oh, okay. some of the cancer centers in the city. Yeah, the children's hospitals there, um, they benefit a lot from having the dogs there. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they do. Now, your club offers therapy classes, obedience, agility, nose work, and other canine instruction to the public. How do these classes relate to better health and well-being for adults and children? Well, the same as... Um, it, what Mac touched on before. And what is nose work? I'm just curious. Uh, <laughs> nose work is basically the same thing as scent training uh, for canines, uh, mm. the canine uh, cops, okay. the dogs. Okay. Um, some of them learn narcotics. Some of them learn um, at the airports. You have other dogs that are scenting for uh, illegal plants or something else that's coming in from mm -hmm. countries. So um, nose work is the same thing, but we teach our dog in uh, the nose work, Canine Nose Work Association, we teach three scents. We teach birch, anise, and clove. Hmm. And uh, they learn to recognize the scent, and we, we do trials. Yeah, really interesting. So now how do all these different classes help the adults as well as children? Well, of course, it ties into the fact that you're training your dog, mm. you're, you're up, you're feeding them, you're taking them out and doing the exercises. This right. is the homework that Mac was talking ah, about. the homework. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, you can go to class once a week and not do anything. Right. And, um, you know, it's going to show next time you go. Same, same as a child in school doesn't do the homework. Right. <laughs> now, where does someone take these classes? Where are you guys, where are you located? We're located in uh, Shahola on Route 6, Okay. Uh, about uh, five miles west of uh, 84, mm -hmm. 
And um, we train there for uh, confirmation, obedience, nose work, agility. So we, we, we do offer all of those yeah. to the community. Quite the amount of classes. Open to, open to the public.